I want to thank everybody who watched my live show yesterday, or at least my attempt at doing a live show. It actually worked out pretty well, I guess, but there were a lot of cakes that I think I'll have to work out if I do it again. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it again or not. I'd, I'd kind of like to, so I don't know. I'll have to work it out a little bit better. And I didn't really work out the whole Google Plus end of it very well, because I think everybody was supposed to have their own video down below mine, but it didn't show up for some reason. I don't know, maybe I need to do, but I don't do a lot on Google Plus, really. I wish I did, but I don't, I always feel like I would just be duplicating anything I do on Facebook. So I haven't really, I think a lot of people are kind of struggling with how to use Google Plus and Facebook without just duplicating the stuff. So I kind of figure most of the people, you know, that are, they're following me on Facebook, I guess they, they might be following me on Google Plus too. I don't know. It just seems like I haven't really figured out how to deal with that. Um, so I, I sort of focus on Facebook, I guess. And that's what I was doing this morning was I was, this is what I, my Olympic rings that I made for my Facebook cover page. <laughs> I had different, different parts here. I wanted them all to actually be, you know, out here, but I couldn't find three or five circular items that were all about the same size so I just had to end up photoshopping them all together. Um, that was kind of fun and I, I actually finished up watching the opening night ceremonies of the Olympics too. I had it DVR'd and thank God because that was long so I was able to click through all the nonsense which about half of it was nonsense and <laughs> the other half was kind of fun to watch. Total overblown spectacle it was but you know I guess that's what an opening ceremony <laughs> should be. And it's kind of fun to watch some of the these lesser countries that have like two people representing them. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to see those countries. And I was surprised that there was actually, there's a an independent team in the Olympics. I didn't know, I think there was four people in that or something who were people like men without countries or something. They're just floating around. I don't, I don't know, but it'll be interesting to see if I can see them. I did watch Women's beach volleyball the other day. <laughs> oh man, that was good. It was a great game, but I love watching the, uh, the beach volleyball, at least the women's. I don't really want to watch the guys. <laughs> but let me show you this. I've got a beach volleyball here, and this was signed by Misty May Trainer or Carrie Walsh. Those are the two, the two women in the U.S. Olympic team who always win. They've never lost a game. They're perfect. Uh, and so this one was autographed by one of them. I don't remember which because, well, we kind of left this ball outside and, and her autograph wore off. <laughs> but there was an autograph on there because she would, she did, after the last Olympics, she did a signing ceremony in San Francisco. And so my wife, they, she was, she was signing balls. And so, <laughs> so my wife got her to sign a ball. But I do like watching the Olympics. It, it's always kind of fun thing, you know, every four years to all of a sudden just become an expert at these sports once again. <laughs> you know, it's like I, I kind of forget about these sports. And then when the Olympics come by, I'm, I know all the rules and everything just by watching it. But I like to watch the, the beach volleyball. And I watch the gymnastics, both the men and the women gymnastics. I think everybody watches gymnastics. That's probably the main thing. Without the gymnastics, I don't think anybody would watch the Olympics. And I can't get into the swimming. I kind of watch a little bit of it, but it just bores me because it's just, uh, they go back and forth. I'll watch a few minutes of it and I get tired. Same with most of the running events because they're the same thing over and over, at least to me. Uh, I watched a little bit of bicycling this morning and I actually just watched it with the sound off because it was really, what was really interesting was to see that they were r racing in the rain through the English countryside and it was just really fun to just see the landscape, just beautiful. But I wanna check out some of these sports that, well, really aren't sports, like table tennis, it's ping pong. It should be called ping pong, come on guys. Everybody calls it ping pong. And you know, badminton. <laughs> These are like sports that people play in their backyards, you know, but on their Olympic sports. And it's so funny to see them take these, uh, these guys are really serious about badminton and, and ping pong. <laughs> and then the, the horse prancing, you know, the ones where they just kind of prance the horses. That's a sport, is it? Are these athletes? They're, they're I don't understand that. <laughs> but it's kind of interesting to watch that though. But I do like watching those weird sports. <laughs> And so during that live show I did, some people were uh, suggesting I do an Olympic project. And I, I really like that idea. So I'm still trying to come up with some sort of an idea. A couple people suggested doing an Olympic torch or something. That'd be interesting. I'm not really sure how to do it. I have that bamboo over there. Remember I showed that to you? I picked up at, at my son's school. 
And I kind of think those, when I see those, I think of a tiki torch, you know, not really an Olympic torch, but I don't know. I, I'm still giving it some thought. I actually, I brought this ball in here because I thought, well, it might be interesting to make a display stand for that since it was autographed, even though there's no autograph on it anymore. And the ball's been outside so much and so long, it's like collapsing or it's rotting. So I guess I don't really have any major updates for the shop this this time. Uh, it's been a busy weekend for Les Miserables, why it's been in Les Miserables performances. And so i uh, been running him back and forth to that. I'll be glad when he's old enough to drive. <laughs> But the show was great, man. Les Mis, what a great musical that is. I mean, I you can't help but watch it and just it just stir. It's stirring. It's a stirring musical. Um, so, anyways, that's it. I'm here.